All right, I'll start with the general. We have the emperor, the king of swords, and the ten of wands as the general vibe, the general story. And I feel like someone is really working you to death. They're overburdening you. It could be two people. It could be two people you work with. Maybe they're in cahoots or it's like, this one here is the director, this one here is the manager directly underneath him, or um, a similar situation. I feel like this is someone in the highest position, or at least in your department. And this is it's probably, he, he could be a manager himself, but underneath him. And I feel like they're both kind of working you. Um, for others, I do feel like maybe you're taking the energy of the King of Swords and <laughs> there's something about the way this character is looking at this one behind his back where he's kind of I feel like he's seething he's thinking and plotting maybe he has a, a secret agenda not necessarily to overthrow the emperor maybe but to like trying to figure out a solution maybe you feel like you've had to harden up yourself because you're dealing with the emperor um, and it feels like as the emperor you know turns his back there's something, it's like you have the vibe of wanting to attack them, but you don't, you know, because you maintain your integrity and you keep it together. However, you are maybe on some level distancing yourself from, you know, being in any way detached to a job or a situation. So it doesn't necessarily have to be work specific, you know, this can be someone in the family who is much older and perhaps they have a lot that they're asking of you and they're a burden on your shoulders. I feel like someone or at least two people are a heavy burden on your shoulders and one of these people is at, is much older, maybe in their 60s, something like that. It's a male. Uh, you've got to get a lot done. Now, some, this is also someone that you're associated with that is too busy for you. I'm also getting that vibe as well. It's like there's there's this element of no time, having no time to relax or maybe just do things you want to enjoy or if you're looking to spend it with someone like the King of Swords or even the Emperor, they're unavailable because they're doing other things and right now it feels like they do not have time for you. They're taking on too much. But that's for maybe a few for the majority i feel like the burden is on you because this is representing you know your main story and again you're dealing with people who could be incredibly demanding and you know this character is like facing off this direction these two or that direction so in some ways it's like you're not seeing eye to eye with two people potentially and you kind of want to like pack your bags and go home or <clears throat> uh, stop taking on too much or just you know like carry everything bring the weight on your shoulders and kind of escape with it away from these two while they're looking away and they don't see you kind of just disappearing into the night. I do get that story as well. But overall, the general vibe, there is a burden energy for you. I'm sorry, but it is there. All right. So love. Love looks great. I mean, you have the Ten of Cups emotional fulfillment and contentment happiness you've got emotional balance temperance everything feels like feels like it's just right it's the perfect mix is what i'm getting at this time we have the four of wands harmonious energy you know this if you're dating you're finding or i feel like you're connecting with someone that meets all your expectations because you have this happiness with the ten of uh cups there if you're in a relationship, your relationship for January is great. I think that emotionally you, again, feel satisfied with your partner. It's possible that you're living together or you're going to live together or you're doing something in regards to a home, maybe buying a home together. And it feels equal. It feels easy and at the same time fulfilling. So it's not like the comfort, not exciting energy, but this happy fulfilled vibe with the person that you're seeing and as i said if you're single i feel like you are connecting with someone who feels right so not much else to say about that i really like that energy with um the overall we have the four of swords 
and the king of cups now with this lovely energy here i mean this could represent the person that you're dating in a relationship with or you've just met and again who you connect well with and with the four of swords now the four of swords is a recovery card for me sometimes it's a recovery from pain surgery you know just needing to rest and relax i feel like this might be you feeling at ease you know you have burden happening here but i think towards the end of the month you will be at ease with a situation most likely with this male here the king of cups you might be anticipating where things are headed with this person for others this is representing you i mean this is water energy and as yourself i feel like you are taking a break you are taking a rest from being burdened and um if you're in a relationship i feel like your partner would be involved because of this energy here and some of you might be separating from a situation as well that you feel has given you has like done too much has overworked you for instance so you might be separating yourself from that situation and looking elsewhere because he's kind of looking you know towards the future so all right let's get one for the emperor hmm star Maybe this is actually someone that you look up to, that you admire. Despite the fact that they seem to be related to the this energy of you feeling overburdened. King of Swords. Okay, we have the card of thinking and isolation or just needing a, a break. Um, the card of study as well with the hermit here going inward. Hmm. Let me get one more for that. I'm trying to think if this is a person that's heavily on your mind or that's part of the burden that this king of swords is on your mind, but why? Maybe they've gone away, they've traveled far away, they moved without you, and maybe they were a close um, connection. Maybe that's the burden you carry. So maybe they're not actually necessarily working you to death. And we've got two droppers. They're face down, which normally I wouldn't take, but I'm curious. And they're not associated with anything in particular because I wasn't really thinking about a card. We have the Page of Cups and we got the Two of Pentacles. There's a possibility that you're considering reaching out to this person and maybe that's what's heavily weighing on your mind that you can't do so you're you're indecisive about it with the two of pentacles clarify the ten of wands you know for some with the king of swords here that could represent you being heavy in thought and maybe you're just thinking about leaving a situation or going away moving yourself All right, the burdens that you're carrying, you're not really sharing with anyone. This is like a secret thing. So it's possible that you're doing a lot, you're overworked, but you're giving the illusion that you're perfectly fine when you're not, or you could use a helping hand. But for whatever reason, you find the need to not necessarily let anyone else in on this. And this could be this move or this trip thing that you're not sharing with anyone as well. I would say with judgment there, people will find out. You might actually reveal something after you've kind of put yourself at a distance. That could be the burden you're carrying. I still feel like it's related to either two people, one older male, Like, is that someone you wish to be around, be with, work with? Maybe they've offered you something and it is quite a heavy burden to leave a situation and go elsewhere, but you're doing it anyway. You're not telling anyone and then you tell people after you've left. Judgment. 
I mean, there's definitely energy to travel here. And again, this communication, so this outburst of communication with judgment and the Eight of Wands, but it happens in a sneaky way. Again, I get the vibe of after someone's left, they kind of reveal the fact that they've done something. Maybe someone's doing that to you and that's the burden as well. You don't find something out until it's happened and the person that you would need to confront, for instance, is long gone. All right, so four of wands. New relationship. For those of you that are single, you're definitely having uh, an option to, you know, meet someone new that makes you very content. I don't want to clarify anymore. If you're in a relationship, I think this is solidifying it further. And again, perhaps finding something that you love together, like a new apartment, like a new house and um, further developing the connection and just doing something that would be considered a next stage. I am seeing that with the ace and the four of wands. I see like a love towards a new home for those in a relationship. Four of Swords. With the Magician, I actually feel like in this case that you're taking a break from taking action. You know that you have a lot to accomplish and that you can do uh, all the things that are probably active in your mind. But for now, you want to take a break. And you it's about inaction, I feel. Towards the end of the month, you're going to feel the need to not be a part of anything, not take any steps forward. And maybe spend a little bit more time thinking, just generally speaking. That might apply more to what's going on here. This feels like a very strange story. I don't know. King of Cups. Oh, Lord. There we go. King of Cups could be someone who is married or who is someone that you work with. I do see the Hierophant aside from a committed relationship to being someone at an office or a corporate or someone in an institution, churches, um, medical, otherwise. Uh, this could be the person that you meet. That's the field that they're in. They're probably um, a teacher or, again, in some form of corporate job or institution they're involved with. This is the person that you've met. Or... You know, the hero font can sometimes represent um, not so much on its own with other cards, but I'm looking at the Four of Swords because I'm getting this, you know, stepping away, taking a break, all about an action. And the hero font can represent where you're going. This can be like an established resort type thing or some spa that you're kind of headed towards or going to to get away from I feel like this overworked energy or this burden that you're carrying that has something to do with the, again these two males or at least one older male for sure I can't pick up the cards uh, I feel like someone's just up and left I feel like someone's left so you're thinking about reaching out to them they're at a distance with the star there you go back and forth between doing so and maybe eventually they reach out, as I said, but that's it. That's only done after they've they left themselves. Either that's them doing it or you're doing it. Some of you, the month is about taking a break with this other character. If that's not your energy. You're taking a break with them. A relaxing vacation of sorts is the plan. I mean, we got the sun here, so there is happiness with this person or just as your overall energy. <clears throat> All right, sorry for the long pause. I was thinking, I'm getting like a, a weird disjointed vibe from from these cards. All right, let's get one oracle for love. Toxic. That doesn't flow. Okay, so we've got this connection is unhealthy, drawn together out of need or habit. Release it to be free. Hmm. So it is possible that you'll meet someone who makes you incredibly happy and it will turn out to be a situation 
that might end up being a little bit unhealthy, something to watch out for. I am going to say, despite seeing this card, if you're enjoying something, just take it for what it is in the moment. Uh, you could just use this as a caution, you know, be aware. If you see any red flags, jot them down, make a mental note. If they start to add up, then maybe it's time to really evaluate who it is that you've met and are dealing with. And that could be whether or not you're single and just recently connected with someone, or if you've been with someone for some time. Uh, just pay attention to any sort of iffy aspects of the other person that you're with um, and use that as a warning. Otherwise, enjoy the positive energy and don't let that overtake it. It's just awareness, I think, that you should... Um, try to incorporate. Hmm. All right, let me get the other deck. All right, so. I like this one. Flopper. Mending. All right. I feel like there's healing that's happening this month. And you do have temperance, which can point to that. So I think things will be on the upside overall. You do have the sun. I feel like that's what the Four of Swords is about. So you are recovering. You're recovering when it comes to this person. Or again, that's just you having some form of emotional recovery. And you're probably doing so at a distance. You're going away to a spa, resort, or somewhere to get away most likely that's sunny and warm it's all about not really doing anything and being incredibly active so it's more of a lounge type beach type vacation than anything else and there's healing yourself recovery you could be again repairing a relationship and that's this positive energy that's you and the other person again going together somewhere and sort of restoring the relationship there's like new love here that could be reincorporated into a current relationship or again if you're single then i do feel like you're meeting someone new that is an attractive option and that in itself maybe heals some of your energy where you were ready to give up and if you were coming again out of a negative situation where you were previously in a relationship this connection could be healing that overall i get a healing vibe it's just these clarifiers a little bit weird um all right, aside from our clarifiers, I'm going to say that on the general, you do have some work ahead of you. It's possibly being imposed on you by these two people or at least one older male. I've said it a thousand times. Um, and you are going to want to like pack your bags and go home when it comes to a, a situation in general. And maybe that's what this is saying that you secretly do. <laughs> and then like you job wise, you know, you kind of leave, you know, like, but no one knows you left until you actually left. Like, yeah, I don't work there anymore. Bye. 